Hi there and welcome to the daily update on itsyourbiz.com. Did you know that the average business, according to Web Trends, spends $1 for every fan they acquire on Facebook? Well, obviously, when you look at that data, it may seem inefficient to use Facebook advertising. In fact, many startups and small businesses are discouraged to use such a platform that actually requires a certain amount of money for one single click. But there are three pieces of advice based on Web Trends case studies that every business should follow if they want to reduce their costs on Facebook ads. First, be sure to tighten your ad targeting. Your ads are not meant for everyone. If you own a business in Miami, Florida, then you should target people living there, even if you process online orders. Target people of the age group and gender your product markets to the most. Now, the more targeted your ad, the cheaper it gets to advertise since the ads appear to a smaller group of people. Clicks also are more frequent. Be sure to keep ads within Facebook. Don't create ads that lead to external links. Those cost more and have a slightly high bounce rate. Bounced ads cost just as much as ads that lead to an action. Getting more fans on Facebook pays off anyway, so why not do it? And then be sure to change the ad once in a while. Change the image and text of your ad once every four days. Now this keeps it fresh since ads tend to peak after about 72 hours. Using these methods, you'll be able to reduce your cost per click and increase your click-through rate, two things you certainly need in order to have a successful ad campaign. So if you've tried Facebook ads before and you didn't have much luck, or if you're thinking about giving it a try, be sure to employ these tips and hopefully you'll see a lot of new followers and fans trying your products and services. I want to thank you for watching today. Be sure to join me right here tomorrow. I'm Ivy Hartman.